Hello friends, welcome to our channel Creating Essence. I am Megan and I'm so glad you're here today. It is a beautiful Sunday. We've just finished watching church online, had a nice big homemade breakfast together, and we're gonna take another bite out of the gardening. Yesterday my amazing husband helped me get those raised beds planted over there, and we picked up a cattle panel for trellising from Tractor Supply right before they closed. And now we're gonna plant some beans. So this is just a standard cattle panel. It is 16 feet long and four feet high, which is perfect because our beds are four feet wide. Just gonna take a few of these and use it to fix the cattle panel into place. We can certainly pop them out and move it in the future if we'd like to. Since we have extra room, because I only got one packet of whole beans, I'm gonna put some nasturtium in between each one. So they'll climb up the trellis too. Now that we've planted the pole beans on the ends, we're going to do perpendicular rows of bush beans. So in this one, we're gonna plant the dragon tongue bush beans. We are going to do Provider bush beans on this side. Okay? Can you girls go get the roll of fence and the staple gun and bring it over? Yep. Okay. Good job. And now since like there's going to be mostly. plenty of room in between those two outside rows and it would be tough to pick a third middle row. I'm going to put some calendula in the middle row. Calendula! So this fence that we're putting over is our attempt to keep the cats from destroying what's growing in there. And now for the pretty flower in the middle row for this, we're gonna do some cotton. These are seeds we saved from the first time we grew cotton, which was cotton sea island brown from Baker Creek. We love using it. It has beautiful flowers, but we also love using it in homeschool projects. When the plants sprout and are big enough to handle it, we will smooth out the bed and knock those hills of mulch down against the stems of the plants. But right now, we're just giving them extra space to sprout. The beans are planted. Now we're gonna hop over to Bee Island real quick and plant some of our flowering things. Most of the medicinal herbs had to be started from seed indoors and not quite ready for transplanting, but we can direct sow a couple of things like poppies and more cotton. It's one little bowl of cotton that got left out, probably bloomed late last year so we didn't notice it. First, we're gonna put in some American Legion poppies. 
poppy seeds are so tiny that we're just gonna leave those uncovered because they will have sunk down in far enough to grow. Uh, yep, we have some lemon balm. These boys are finishing up planting the cotton for me over here. And that is it for now. I don't know if that's it for today. <laughs> I would really like to get out tonight and plant the cucumbers and nasturtium and zucchini and marigold in the earth garden, but it is hot. It is in the mid 80s. The humidity is like 90% and we're getting toward the peak heat of the day. So we're gonna head inside and cool off hydrate up and hopefully tonight when the sun starts going down we can come out and do some more. It's about 6 p.m. so it is much cooler. It got up to 85 feels like 92 <laughs> with crazy humidity. So we are out here now to get some cucumbers and zucchini so We are getting started on cucumbers. We have compost here, leafy compost. It's broken down from a little mini hoop house where we had the chickens. And now we're going to plant Tokyo green cucumbers. I plant my cucumbers in hills like this, and I do three per hill, hoping at least two grow. We use these white plastic trellises that we stake into arches for our cucumbers to climb around on. It helps utilize the space much more efficiently than just having them crawl on the ground. Now that we have this in place, we'll do another hill of cucumbers right here. Dump in a good amount of compost and mix it in with this loosened dirt. Now in between each set of hills, we're going to do a little hill of nasturtium. Cucumber beetles are really not fond of nasturtium, plus nasturtium flowers and leaves make a great salad green. So they're useful in multiple ways. Too hot and tired to plant anymore but we did get the cucumbers and nasturtium in so that's something and we got everything done this morning before lunch so those are a couple of great chunks out of the planting thank you all so much for hanging out with us today as always if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to hang out for more we'll see you again tomorrow